Apple now has a number of productivity tools that can make your life so much easier when you're managing a project or even your next vacation. And today I want to show you how you can connect Reminders, Apple's task manager, with Apple Notes, which is their robust, brilliant note-taking application. And I'm going to take you through a project that has just completed. I've just got back from uh, Dublin, Ireland, uh, on a trip on the west coast of Ireland. And I want to take you through how I used Apple Notes with reminders to be able to manage that project. So let's get started. Now, the first place to start is with the project note. Now, the way that I manage my projects is I always have critical information at the top. Now, in this particular case, these are the two primary emails. There's my flights, the email confirming my flights, and the car rental agreement, or the, the email uh, confirming the car rental. Now those are at the top because those are the things I'm going to need quick access to perhaps at the airport or perhaps somewhere when I'm in the middle of nowhere. So I need access to this on the phone and I don't want to be scrolling down a project note looking for that critical information. So that's always at the top. Now with a work project where there's documents involved that might also be connected to a, a keynote file, a numbers file or perhaps a a pages file but in this case it's just two emails. Next up I will always have what's called my next actions. Now bigger projects like this, now vacation for me this time was more complicated because my parents-in-law were coming with us and I needed to make sure everything was organized because I was the primary English speaker. So that's why I had pretty much all the details I needed in this project. So I have the next actions here, things like checking that my parents-in-law's passports had at least six months on them, the kind of things that you're going to overlook, but if you are brainstorming ideas, this is where you can put those things. Then I will have, in this particular case, I had places to visit because we had dinner one evening and they were talking about all the places they wanted to visit and I just grabbed them into a note. Actually, I used my pocket notebook, my paper notebook for this, but it eventually got into this particular project note. And then I have my own personal packing list. Now, I don't put all the clothes in there because I, <laughs> I've traveled before. I know what I need to take with me from a clothing perspective. And that's never like to be an emergency because if you forget a t-shirt or you forget some underwear, you can easily go and buy more stuff like that. But things like my Irish iPhone, which is usually in a drawer in my desk, it's not the thing I'm carrying around with me all the time. I need to remember to take that with me. So that's going to be on my packing list. Now, I know that some of you are already asking, how do you get that email link into Apple Notes? Well, that's probably the easiest one of the lot because all you need to do is drag the email from Apple Mail into the note, the Apple note. Now, I'm not sure whether you can do this with Outlook and I'm not sure whether you can do this with Gmail. However, with Gmail, every single email you have has a unique URL. So all you would need to do is copy the URL and paste it into your Apple Notes and you've got instant access to that email. So that's not really a major problem. But if you're using Apple Mail, and all you have to do is drag and drop it. Now you can drag and drop it using your iPad or your MacBook. However, on the phone, you need to be really good with your fingers to be able to do it, which I'm not. So I never do this from my phone. This is the kind of thing that I would put into my Action This Day folder. And then later in the day, I will just drag it from my MacBook into the project note. It's kind of processing later in the day. But that's how you get the emails from your Apple Mail or Gmail, if you're using Gmail, into Apple Notes. You can just put that at the top of the note and it's there and all you need to do is click on it and it will open up the email. Okay, so where does Reminders come in? Well, Reminders comes into this because on a day-to-day -day basis, I want to know if this is a project that needs reviewing or looking at or I'm going to work on on that particular day. Now, the reason why in my Apple Notes I have a next actions area is quite simply because if I put all that into reminders, 
I'm going to get, they're just going to become disjointed. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to do all this. And besides, this is just a vacation. It's, it's pretty simple. I'm likely to be sat down with my wife and I'm going to open up the project note and I can go through those next actions with her because she would be asking her parents, check your passport. Now, the thing is, the other reason for this is instead of having five or six tasks related to a project interspersed all through my reminders, what I've done instead is I just have a single task which says review Apple, review my project note. And now that one can be done in multiple different ways. There's an easy way and there's a hard way. The easy way is just to highlight some text in the Apple note and then copy and paste it into reminders. That will then create a link back to the actual project note. Now that's the easiest way to do it. Now you can go it the hard way, which for some weird reason is the reason I generally do it, which is to share the note to yourself by creating a URL link. Now to do that, you just go to the share sheet and you sort of collaborate. And when you click collaborate, you will then have the option to collaborate with yourself. So you put your own email address in there, that will then create a URL link. Now, yes, of course, it's very difficult and it's a pain to do. Another way to do it is from your iPad. I find with your iPad, you can actually drag and drop the note into the actual reminder and that will create a link back or a, a link back to that original note. So all you're doing from reminders is you'll have a task which says review this project, click and it will open up the project note directly and you're straight into it. Now the reason I like this particularly is because I don't then get distracted by other tasks. Now this is a, a nice project, of course. It's a, it's a vacation, of course, it's a nice project. But there are a lot of projects that we do are probably not so nice. And if you're going into reminders looking for things to do, the chances are you're going to pick up the low hanging fruit, the easy task, just to give you a sense that you're doing something. This way, you've just got a task which says, work on this particular project. And that then takes you directly to that project. So you're not getting distracted by anything else. It just means that the tasks that you have in reminders are a little bit more meaty, and then you can just get on and start that project. Now, breaking down the project into easier tasks like uh, checking you know, passport details, reviewing flight details and stuff like that. That's actually quite easy. They're low hanging fruit, but I am working on the project that I have decided I'm going to work on in this moment. So that's something I just wanted to cover because I know I'm, whenever I do videos on Apple Reminders or Apple Notes, I generally get lots of questions. How do you connect those links? How do you create those links? So hopefully this video has answered that question. And if you want to learn a little bit more about how to use Apple Reminders and Apple Notes together, then this video up here is the one to watch next.